Hi, in this video, we are going to see how to install the required libraries for the project. So, first install the Python version, which is mentioned in the recommends file or the help file. So, I have already done it. So, just go to the command prompt and type Python space hyphen hyphen version and click enter. So, I have installed Python 3.0. 10.9 which is required for this project and now let us install the libraries one by one so first go to the requirements file where you can find the command on the library which you wanted to install so now first let us install the scikit-learn so just type pip install scikit-learn so in case if you are having any antivirus it may be scanning because of this pip dot exe so we can close this now antivirus and now you can see uh, it is downloading the required files for it so kindly note that you should have some active internet connection so that the process will not be interrupted so now you can see it is installing the collected package which is downloaded so now you can see it successfully installed the scikit-learn so for next we'll move to the next library flask so you need to install with the required version of it so there will not be any conflict on it so now i have copied and pasted the command pip install flask equal to equal to 2.3.2 and click enter and now it is downloading the required things and now you can see it is successfully installed the flask library also now moving on to the next matplotlib so just copy that command and paste it so now you can see it is installing the required library matplotlib and now you can see the successfully installed message so it has successfully installed let us move to the next command pandas so just copy and paste it again and click enter so now it is collecting and downloading the pandas library requirement files and it is now installing so now you can see the successfully installed pandas message so now let us move to the next one that is numpy so just copy that command and paste it pip install numpy is equal to 1.2 23.5 so now you can see it is successfully installed the numpy also and final comes the pip install tensorflow so just copy and paste with the exact version 2.12.0 and click enter so whatever the version that is mentioned in the recommends file you need to use the same in case if there is different version or if you are not mentioning the version it may give some conflict on it so now you can see it is downloading it is around 272 mb so it takes some few seconds or minutes according to your resources available so kindly make sure that your internet is fast so you can complete it soon so now you can see the installation is completed successfully the tensorflow library so now you can just follow the output video and you can execute it and in case if there is a need for installing the visual c++ link you need to install this just copy this url go to your browser paste it and now you need to select this download x64 vc redis 64 So here you can find that x64 vc redist x64.exe this is what that has been mentioned here in the requirements file so just you can download this by clicking this link so it will be downloading so I am downloading it in the desktop and you can just double click it and install it. So click on install and give yes. So now you can see the setup 
is completed successfully and you can close it and now we have installed the required requirement that is mentioned in the requirements file now you can just follow the output video and you can execute the project and thank you for watching